Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to explain about rule of 72 and rule of 69. So by using rule of 72 and 69, you can find two different things. The first one is if you want to know that how long it takes to double your invested amount with some fixed interest, you can find that. The second one, if you want to know that how much percentage is needed to double your invested amount in some fixed years you also can find that by using rule of 72 and 69 now first i will explain rule of 72 so as per this formula first one if you want to know that how long it takes to double your invested amount with some fixed interest rate for example you have invested 1 lakh rupees and now the future value is 2 lakhs rupees and you are getting interest is 5 percentage on 1 lakh rupees. Now here in this case, 72 by what is the interest rate you are getting 5. So if you submit 72 by 5, 14.4. So to double your invested amount, it takes almost 14.4 years to double your 1 lakh to 2 lakhs rupees. Suppose if you uh, if you invested 1 lakh rupees with the interest rate of 7, that means 72 by you have to keep 7 here and 10.28 to double your invested amount, it takes 10.28 years. For example, you invested 1 lakh rupees with the interest rate of 10. In that case, it to double your invested amount, it takes 7.2 years. Now the another case, now you don't know the interest rate. You want to find how much percentage is needed to double your invested amount. For example, you have invested 1 lakh rupees. And now in 5 years, in 5 years, this 1 lakhs has to be converted into 2 lakhs. That means double. Now you want to know that how much percentage is needed okay, to convert your uh, to double your invested amount as per this formula 72 by now what is the number of years means 5 72 by 5 so you have to invest in a product so you have to get 14.4 percentage as the return that means your amount will be doubled in 5 years suppose you want to double your invested amount in 6 years 72 by 6 so you have to get 7 12 percentage of interest to double your invested amount now you want to double your invested amount in just four years so 72 by 4 so in that case 18 percentage is needed to double your invested amount in just four years i hope you understood the uh, this formula 1 and formula 2 and what is the use of 72. Now you also can calculate the same thing by using rule of 69. So compared to rule of 72, the rule of 69 is more precise and it will give the exact value. But formula is little different compared to rule of 72. Now suppose let us consider you invested 1 lakh rupees. Now that your future value is what 2 lakhs. And now you are getting interest is what 5 percentage. Then how long it takes to double your invested amount? So as per this formula, 69 by what is the interest you are getting? 5 plus you have to add 0 0.35. So for 72 rule, nothing. 72 by just you write the interest value 5. That, that's it. But whereas 69, you have to add 0 0.35. So then what you will get 14.15. So to double your invested amount, it takes what 14.15 years. So if you get interest of 5 percentage. So by using rule of 72 and 69, you can find the two things. So you can find how long it takes to double your invested amount with fixed interest. Then how much percentage is needed to double your invested amount in some fixed years. Suppose see, you have invested 1 lakh rupees with the 5% interest. 
so it takes 14.40 years to double your invested amount as per our formula this is what 72 rule and if you use the 69 rules and now it takes what exact 14.15 suppose your interest rate is 9 percentage it takes 8 years to double your invested amount but as per 69 for rule it takes 8.02 years to double your invested amount suppose your interest rate is 14.50 and it takes 6.25 percentage 6.25 years to double your invested value as per 72 and as per 69 it takes 6.35 years to double your invested amount now which one we have to follow of course you can follow either 72 or 69 but compared to 72 the 69 rule is more uh, appropriate or it gives more exact value but you have to remember that this is not correct value either it is 60 72 or 69 it is not correct value but it will give approximate value it will give approximate value okay now see here uh, one thing you you need to understand you can use 72 rule to find this parameter when your interest rates are very less when interest rates are very high that means above 5 better use 69 rule to find what appropriate or exact value okay i hope you understood the rule of 72 and rule of 69 okay thank you thank you so much